like this. Side mount is where you're perpendicular to the person like this, all right? And from here, I could be hugging his neck and underneath his arm with my hands connected like this. This is very, very common, actually. Probably the most common side mount position. Um, I could have both my arms over. I could be holding like this. I could be holding like this. So there's a lot of different hand positions. But ultimately, uh, the first reaction of Vincent is always the same. He wants to keep his hands up, right? And when I say hands up, not like this, right? You want to keep your elbows close to your body. That's the key. The hands are up to defend your neck uh, in case I start reaching for the collar to try to choke him or something. But really what he's concerned with is not allowing his elbows to get pried away from his ribs like this. Right? So if I started in side control and his arms were up like this, I just took away, you know, 9 out of 10 escapes for him, right? Because one, he can't push me away if his arms are trapped to the outside, right? He can't get his elbow inside and wedge uh, space between us or his knee, right? So from here, he's pretty much just dead in the water, okay? What he would want to do from here is try to fight to get his elbows back in. So he might have to shoulder walk a little on the ground and bump with his hips a little bit, whatever he can do to get his arms inside. And then with this arm, you want to kind of like drill under my neck. You don't want to wave this hand in front of the face because of the uh, Americana. So you kind of want to like grind it under my chin. No, don't wave it. Go under my chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little in that way. Okay. And now once he has this frame, he has two frames, right, like this. One is on my hip, it's this forearm framing my hip bone, and here it's this forearm framing my neck. So same idea here, if I want to squeeze and hold him tight, he's got to lift his elbow a little bit, yeah, and it makes it super uncomfortable for me. The more I try to bring my head down, the more this sucks for me, okay? And now from here, his goal is to get his knee inside and to put me in the guard, okay? So he's going to turn a little bit to face me, he's going to bring the knee through the space between us, he's going to stretch his head back, and then from here, he's going to scoot to wrap his legs around the waist. Boom. And then, of course, once we're here, he's still on the ground, but he's in a much better position. He can go for submissions from here, sweeps. He can take me away and stand up to his feet, so he's in a much better spot now. Okay? So one more time.